What's up everybody, True Fighter Tech here. In today's video I'm going to be talking quickly about some of the interesting products that came off the Consumer Electronics Show or CES 2012, being the world's biggest technology expo for consumers. So we're going to be looking at some award-winning products from the show as well as some that we all can look forward to this year. Now, some of them might be released in the beginning uh, of the first quarter or second quarter of this year and others will follow up later. Now one of the most award-winning product was the LG OLED TV, 55 inch, super thin and of course of course, would be super expensive as well. Some of the other interesting TVs that came off were the Sony uh, Crystal Clear Technology TV and the Samsung TV as well, which had a kind of like sensor attached to it, a camera that detects your gestures and facial recognition to actually control the features of the TV. So you can check those out, on, I'm sure, on YouTube. Now, moving on to smartphones, some of the eye-catching ones was the Samsung Note, which has a 5.3-inch screen, so it's more like a hybrid of a tablet and a smartphone, um, which also comes with a stylus that interacts with the phone. And there was also uh, the Nokia Lumia 900, which runs Windows, which was also very interesting. So, um, I mean, most of these phones are probably going to use you know, quad-core processors and a higher RAM capacity than the existing ones. Some of the interesting Ultrabooks, which uh, obviously were one of the main features of the show, uh, included the HP Spectre, which uses uh, the Gorilla Glass, uh, surrounded by a lot of glass. And uh, Gorilla Glass 2 was introduced as well, um, giving way to you know thinner devices in the future. And this particular Ultrabook caught the attention because of its high specs and also uh, SSD storage. And there was also, as you can see in the picture here, the Acer. And this was also another Ultrabook introduced. Now, this one is interesting because it actually has a um, all the ports hidden behind, which come off as a as a hidden sort of dock. When you press the button, it actually raises the, the Ultrabook, and then you have access to these ports. So it has pretty, some pretty cool features as well, which you can check out on the Acer website. Or you can, you know, if you have any questions, hit me up. And another one was the... Uh, Lenovo IdeaPad Yogi. As you can see, it's a cross between an Ultrabook and a tablet. And also will be running a Windows, this particular model here. And uh, this is just a picture showing how it can convert from a, you know Ultrabook to a tablet. Moving on to tablets, one of the interesting ones was uh, the Asus Mimo. It's supposed to be running a quad-core processor. And uh, has an 8 megapixel camera at the back, but nothing, none on the front. Um, also comes with a stylus, which is uh, something which would be look, uh, great to look forward to because of the extra functionalities. Now, this is something interesting called uh, the Razer Project Fiona concept gaming tab from Razer. As you can see, it's uh, one of the first tablets that will be running an i7 processor. So you can actually game on the tablet and actually has the controllers on the sides as well there. Another interesting one to look out for would be the Wikipad concept tab. Moving on to gaming headsets, the uh, Turtle Beach uh, introduced the XP400 and 300. Now, these are a bit different from the older versions because they actually will be coming out with dual bands, so they'll run on both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, you know, reducing interference. Now, one of the interesting other products was the pa Parrot AR drones. Those are familiar with the first version. This is the AR drone 2. Now, this will actually have a 720 HD cam, and not only that, you can actually do live video streaming and recording. You can also do flips, and they're also coming up with a headset called Parrot Zik, designed by Stark, which will have NFC technology and Bluetooth, and you can control, uh, you know, the music using the accelerometer function inbuilt, as well as touch buttons, soft touch buttons inbuilt into that. Now, something interesting to look at is uh, something that Fujitsu introduced, the waterproof tablets and phones. So, you know, if you really want to play Angry Birds in the shower or, you know, something else uh, that depends on your personal taste, you can do so. They're actually uh, immersible in water for a certain period of time, and they're also water resistant, so you can use them in the rain as well. Another interesting product was a cube printer by 3D Systems, which create uh, plastic creations in 3D. And um, these actually... Uh, geared towards consumers, so you can actually use them in your house or you can send in your orders and they will send you back your products printed out. Very interesting uh, product which also caught a lot of attention. This is an example of what can be produced, so ladies, uh, this is something there for you. 
you know, shoes created completely out, from, uh, out of your design from a printer. You know, there are endless uses to this and endless things you can create out of it. It all depends on how innovative you are and what you want to experiment with. But yeah, these shoes look pretty good from s something that I just created right in your house using a printer. So before I wrap up, um, you know, CES had, had a lot of interesting things such as also, uh, you know, a lot of cameras now able to do live broadcast and, you know, have you know, inbuilt Wi-Fi like, you know, the upcoming Sony Bloggy Live and many other things like that. And um, one of the biggest concepts was uh, you know, ecosystems. So how to integrate all your appliances and devices to sort of talk to each other and interact with each other. And Samsung was, uh, you know, trying to make a big uh, statement about that as well. So ecosystem is something to look forward to. And um, there were also a lot of other crazy products and also a lot of other interesting products like media hubs and, uh, you know, a intelligent thermostat, one terabyte flash drives from Bitronics with many other features inbuilt. Uh, anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this quick video on some of the interesting products that are coming up. And I look forward to putting up many more videos for you guys. There will be more updates on Twitter. I've also put a lot of information on, you know, the, the different products that came out on Twitter. So for more updates, follow me on Twitter. I've also recently posted about the Apple event that just went by, where they've introduced uh, iBooks 2 and iBook Author. Uh, a lot of um, interesting features there and useful stuff there. Uh, you guys can download it now. It's available on uh, iOS App Store. And uh, follow me on Twitter, guys, and subscribe to my channel and look forward to my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and catch you soon. Peace out.